Welcome to Faith FM Connects, Season 1, Episode 1. This episode is brought to you by Gospel Lighthouse, with 11 locations including Uptown Waterloo. Visit gospellighthouse.ca. The light in the darkness, the Gospel Lighthouse. Your inspiration station. And uh, yes, we are chatting with the founding pastor of Harbor Church and adjunct professor at Fuller Theological Seminary. In the Seattle area is where we're going to find John F. Westfall. Good morning, John. Hey, Pat. It's great to be with you today. All right. And you know, we're going to chat here today about your new book called I Didn't Sign Up for This, Finding Hope When Everything is Going Wrong. And it says here to sur- you're going to survive the storms of life with courage, faith, and surprising joy. And I'm thinking, you're hoping to do a lot with this book, aren't you? Oh, man, I hope it'll help me. <laughs> That'd be great. Now, when you say, I didn't sign up for this, are you are you talking about like when we first enter the Christian life? Because I think sometimes maybe we're given a little too rosy a picture when we first become followers of Jesus. You know, the thing is that um, I would... When, when I was young, I had, I had been given the message that, you know, you're you're terrible and your life's bad and everything is, is awful. But as soon as you accept Jesus into your life, start following him, everything's going to be great. Mm-hmm. Everything will work out. And I, I was young. I was I was a kid. And, uh, and I thought, wow, you know, if I accept Jesus in my life, my life is going to be great. And, and uh, I'll be popular, you know. And so I, I thought, okay, so... Lord, come into my life. I want to follow you. And then, you know what? My messy, the girls didn't like me. <laughs> mm-hmm. I didn't do well in school. And I thought, they lied to me. I'm, I'm still me. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I think we all share that story if we'll just be honest enough to admit it. And the thing is, uh, one of the last things Jesus said to his followers was, in this world, you're going to have trouble. Mm-hmm. And, and, and we've ignored that verse and <laughs> went, you know, everything's going to be good for us because we're Christians. And yeah. then when we have trouble, we go, oh, they didn't get it right. No, um, what they do wrong? And uh, in fact, it's just Jesus saying, you know, you're going to have trouble. Now, I'm going to be with you, and uh, I'll, I'll walk through it with you, and you can trust me, and I'll love you regardless, but you are going to have trouble. Okay, now, you talk about the need to be known and the power of friendship. I mean, why do you think there is a growing feeling of disconnection and loneliness in people today? Well, that's a good question. You know, the thing is, Pat, that um, when things start going wrong in our lives, which happen a lot, uh, one of our tendencies is to pull away. And uh, we start isolating ourselves because we think people only want to be around us when we're strong and successful. Mm-hmm. And, and, you know, the truth is, people who are friends tend to disappear sometimes when things go wrong for us. Mm-hmm. Maybe they don't want to stink on us or something. Oh, yeah, there you go. And yes. So, uh, we end up being isolated, which makes it worse and lonelier. And I and Pat, I think uh, the most powerful thing we can give people is um, to include them, to invite them into our lives or our circle or uh, our friendships and our friend, and our churches. And, and if we would invite them in when they're doing really bad, um, it can be a huge healing uh, step. Yeah, because you you mentioned it, and it is a risk to let people into our story. And, I mean, how, how do we do uh, that, especially, especially when there's some pain or struggle? You know, struggle? it's funny that uh, we think people only want to be with us when we're doing well. Yeah. <laughs> and, uh, and so consequently, we pretend and we put up a front that things are better than they are, mm-hmm. and, uh, and it ends up that we're living a lie. And so people don't ever get to really know us warts and all, uh, which is too bad because that's where the intimacy and the vulnerability and the, re- the real caring happens. Mm-hmm. Now, it's kind of strange that we're talking about, you know, building relationships and, and that sort of a thing, but you you use the term unrelationships in this book. Well, you know, you know Pat, there's people in our lives and we think they're friends or we think we're close and all this stuff, and then um, we begin to realize that maybe it was a one-way thing or they're only, they're only close to us as long as they can get something from us or or uh, if we help them feel better about themselves, then then we're close. And when things go wrong in our lives, it really exposes that, and we discover, I don't know who my friends are anymore, mm. and uh, which is a terrible feeling because you 
start going, I don't know if I can trust anybody, really. It's tragic, really. Mm-hmm. But, the, but then when you find the people who move towards you or include you or invite you in, when you're at your worst, uh, then you discover um, that you're lovable regardless. Okay. That's the beginning of a, of a great um, transition. Okay, so in the book here, it says that readers will learn to seek after connection and solidarity with other people, uh, overcome their own aversion to risk, because we all have that. Oh, yeah. And uh, identify what is keeping them from experiencing lasting hope. Um, you spend some time unpacking hope in this book. You know, hope is a, it's, a, it's, a, it's elusive to us, because mm-hmm. it, uh, some people settle for a wishful thinking, for example. And they think, well, you know, if I just think positive or something, you know, hope it happens. And and that's not the biblical kind of hope. That's not that's not what what God offers to us. The thing we need to realize is that our hope is based in who God is and and His care and love for us. And um, and it's not based on how able are we to put it all together, you know, <laughs> yeah. and live really good. Uh, it, that's not where the hope comes from. So I used to think, well, you know, I'm going to have a lot of hope as soon as I get my whole life together and everything's working out good and, uh, you know, I like my life, then I'm going to have a lot of hope. And, and actually, hope only comes uh, when when we start working through the realities and the, and the tough things in life. Mm-hmm. We discover that we can trust God in the middle of it. Mm-hmm. Important, Pat. Yeah, and, and I guess that means reclaiming our understanding of God's mercy, doesn't it? Well, you know, I don't know how we got into this thing of, over the years where, where it seems like we're trying to get God's attention or, or try and convince God that we're, that we're okay. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> you know, but actually, what we want to do is we want to live in such a way that we don't need God. But it's just the opposite of faith, because faith is when we have to take steps uh, with feel like it and when it doesn't seem to be in the easy way out and um and but we have to choose to say okay i'm going to follow you i'm going to trust you through this and then we can look back and say wow uh you know actually uh, god was with me through all that that hard stuff you know he was and when i was at the bottom there was god was standing next to me mm-hmm. and uh and and it's in those times that we begin to realize i can have hope for anything i go through because i'm not alone in this Wow. So no matter what the, the challenge might be for, for anyone listening right now, uh, uh, I'm just thinking, boy, uh, they could really get a lot of good stuff out of this book here uh, from you, John. Uh, experiencing the peace of acceptance, the pleasure of release, and the power of risk. And, and, uh, and of course, your own story, stories of others, and wisdom from Scripture. Uh, people can actually understand that, yeah, God, God is with them, and they can grow even in the most difficult moments. And, you know, we need to know that as bad as things might be right now, it's going to change. All right. We're not going to just stay in this. And that is that is so important to know. Of course, on the other hand, if you're doing really great right now, it's going to change too. And, you know, <laughs> and it's gonna, the bad news is you're going to probably go through some struggles if you're doing That's really right. good right now. But it doesn't matter because <laughs> we're lovable through it all. Yeah. No matter what we're going through, we discover uh, you know, that God loves us and cares for us and is not going to desert us or leave us. Amen. All right. Well, the book is called I Didn't Sign Up for This by John F. Westfall. And uh, thanks, John, for uh, sharing this with us today. Oh, it's great to talk with you, Pat. Thank you for joining us on Faith FM Connects, Episode 1 of Season 1. This episode is brought to you by Gospel Lighthouse, with 11 locations, including Uptown Waterloo. Visit gospellighthouse.ca. The light in the darkness, the Gospel Lighthouse. If you enjoyed this and want to hear more, hit like and subscribe, and you will be notified when we add more videos. Your inspiration station.